I want to tell you before God, I'm in my 83rd year now. I have a bigger fire burning in my belly, if you like, in my heart than ever in my life. And I'm determined by the grace of God to wage war. And I say, I've got young men coming 300 miles to our prayer meeting. That's my consolation. I know that Manley's stirring people in his area, Bill in his area. Still, God has a remnant, but the remnant is not enough. We've got to return to the old ways. The fire has to burn. Dear God, the prayer meeting has to become the most attractive thing in the church. You fire the deacons. If they, when I went to the last church, I was there, I said, listen, every deacon has to meet me half an hour before the service, any meeting. So Friday night, we meet at nine o'clock and pray till midnight. You would tell me about Spurgeon. Paul was showing me a little book the other day. Yes, sure, he was a great man of it. Do you know in all the 20 years he was in that church, he never once made an altar call? Do you know what the deacons did for him? They went in the side room where he, he prayed and wept and groaned before God. Every time he went in the pulpit, the deacons put their arms under his armpits and carried him to the door to get him on the platform. One old lady that visited him knew him, told me about his prayer life. It's amazing. And no man is greater than his prayer life. I don't care how many church members he has.